Hi, I'm David Hayden. I'm a meat scientist, and just like most of you, I'm stuck at home because of COVID-19. Um, so I thought I would go through a few little myths surrounded by around the meat industry, specifically in ground beef, um, to kind of show you a few things and teach you a few things. Um, I've often heard the myth that not to buy ground beef in a chub in the grocery store because if I've heard my grandparents and other people's parents say, you know, they put the bad ground beef in the, uh, in the chubs. We should always be buying the, uh, the good ground beef that's in a overwrapped package. Well, that's, that's a pretty big myth and I wanna tackle that today real quick. As you can see, the, the, the packaged ground beef has got a nice bright cherry red color. The, packet, the, the ground beef that's in the, the chub, if, when you open it up, you'll, see, you'll notice that it's actually brown or, or a darker purple color. That's where the myth comes from that bad ground beef is in the chubs. So I wanna explain to you the differences and we're gonna open this up and take a look at it. But first I need to wash my hands. Ground beef, just like any beef and any protein, is comprised of <clears throat> myoglobin and water predominantly. Meat is predominantly about 70% moisture or water. So the color of the beef and ground beef comes from oxygen binding to the myoglobin that makes it's the main protein comprised of beef. So when we open up the chub of ground beef, you'll notice that the beef is indeed brown or purple. This is where the myth comes from that the bad ground beef is in the chubs. Well, the reason it is purple is because we have deprived this product of oxygen. The, <clears throat> the ground beef that you look at, that you see in the tray here, has got a, a small film of plastic over it. This is actually oxygen permeable film. So oxygen can fl free flow throughout this film, allowing it to bind to the myoglobin within the product, giving it a nice bright cherry red color. So as I open this ground beef up that was in the chub and start breaking it up, I'm now exposing the myoglobin to water, or to water, excuse me, to oxygen. So here in just a few minutes, we'll note, you'll notice that this dark purple ground beef is gonna turn bright cherry red, just like you see in the package. This is what we call blooming. The beef is actually, the meat is actually blooming. It's going from an, a deoxymyoglobin state where there is no oxygen to an oxymyoglobin state where oxygen is binding to the free binding sites of the myoglobin. <clears throat> While we're doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and open this package of ground beef and talk about another couple things. You often hear people say when they open up packages of whether it be ground beef or steaks, and when we talk about cooking temperatures, they don't like, to, some people don't like bloody meat. Well, I can assure you there's no blood left in your, in your beef. Because during the harvesting process, we actually bleed the animal, drive all their blood. That blood that you're looking at is actually myoglobin and water. And you'll see a nice little, what we call a diaper in the bottom of the tray where it's soaked up any of that free myoglobin and water that was present in the ground beef whenever it was packaged. <clears throat> to give you another example, this is a package of steaks that have been vacuum sealed. And you can see that product looks very dark and very purple. Just like we're doing this little experiment with the ground beef, if I open this package of steaks, I'm not going to because I'm not gonna cook them tonight, but if I open this package of steaks, the oxygen will start binding to the free binding sites on the surface of that protein and actually bloom into a nice bright cherry red color. It's not fully bloomed yet, but you can, you can already see quite a difference in the, in the color that was once purple of, of the ground beef coming out of the chub to that after it's had a little bit of time and exposure to oxygen. 
So don't let the myths fool you whenever you're in the grocery store. Ground beef in a chub is just as good and just as nutritious as the ground beef in a tray. Thanks for joining us.